Welcome to the channel, Gaming Army. Let me introduce you to what many call the worst assault mech in the game. Yes, I am talking about the Zeus. So for our next two drops, we're going to be in our Zeus. It is the Zeus 9S, and I have this outfitted with a single MRM-40, six medium pulse lasers, and a top speed of 67.8 kph. Our first drop is a domination match on Solaris. And while this match plays out, let's see if we can roll up our sleeves and get to the bottom of why so many call this the worst Intersphere assault mech in the game. Now, I will concede out of the gate that this mech is on the lighter side of all of the assaults. It's only 80 tons, so you're giving up tonnage to behemoths like the Atlas, who is 100 tons. So I kind of understand that, but there's other 80 ton inner sphere assault mechs in this category, things like the Charger, and everybody knows the Charger is known for its speed. Things like the Victor, and people will argue the armor isn't the best on the Victor, but they can't argue with the fact that it's maneuverable, has jump jets, and you have to be aware of it usually sporting a very large ballistic of some sort. And then you get to the Zeus, and there's just not a whole lot talked about as far as the Zeus. Echo 5 flank. Now we can talk about thin armor as well, but guess what? All of those inner sphere mechs that I mentioned all have the same max amount of armor plating available at 494. The question is what you're going to do with that. So I'm really confused as to why Guys, this has gotten such a bad Artillery rap. Strike online. The idea with this build is I can shave armor at mid-ranges using my MRMs and then later focus the weekend or open components with the medium pulse lasers. Also, I can do that in reverse. I can use medium pulse barrages to weaken and open components and then use the missiles to seek critical damage on those open components. So let's get back into the action on this drop, see how these principles, this build, and this mech all play out under pressure in a drop where rubber meets the road. Right now, my teammates have been doing a left side push. I went along with them and I've noticed an enemy mech out in Delta 6 area by himself and it is a stalker. And that stalker has an open CT, so I want to keep the pressure up on him and manage to get the kill shot with those MRMs on the open component. So far, so good. Rejoining the rest of my team as they continue their left side push. I notice our light scout has marked some more enemy units further to our left as well. And I'm going to go and engage them. I'm expecting to see an incubus, but no, instead, I get a bonus shot on a grasshopper and manage to get the kill. There's the incubus that I was actually after. He's up on the high ground, and I'm willing to take this fight. Although I do have to be careful. I am now open CT and right torso, but he's coming in thinking I am an easy kill. And how wrong he is about to be as my Zeus lays down some major punishing fire and takes him out of the game. Unfortunately, I didn't know he had a Vulcan in tow as well. And the Vulcan focuses me, but that's okay because it allows me to hold his attention while the rest of my team kills him. Jumping to the end screen, in this match, we wind up with three kills, 506 damage done, and 803 damage tanked. Moving on to our next drop. This one has us playing totally skirmish sorry. mode on the mining collective. We've shot out to the right yourself. using our speed to mop up any outliers like, I don't know, this knight here. He is totally unaware I'm back here. And our first volley manages to take half his mech. Now we want to finish up with the rest of his mech. It looks like he's not paying attention to the fact that we are here. Now, I've got to be quick about this kill because one of my teammates is already starting to focus him with LRM fire. And 
as much as I am for securing kills, I want to finish this one off and finish what I started with the night chair. So we round the corner, hit the back shot, and put him down. down. Going forward, I see lots of fire coming from the right-hand side above me. And I also and see that there 3. is an enemy on the minimap to the left of Echo 3. But as I turn around, the enemy chooses that exact moment to peek the other corner. And now I'm in a really tough position because I have two enemy units capable of focusing my back like that little harasser up there on the high ground. So I am in a tough position. My back is open and I'm going to get back shot from one direction or another depending on how I play this. Let me know in the comments how you guys would handle this situation. What would you do to get out of it and where would your focus be? My focus is I pull back and reconsolidate with some of my friendly units. However, my spider sense is still tingling and I have a sneaky suspicion that light mech is still hanging around the high ground to the right side of me. He's really cramping my style because I have to be aware of him trying to stab me in the back when I least expect it and take me out of the game. So I'm going to pay attention to my gut, follow through on this, and see if I can at least push him out of the area so I don't have to worry about him. And I also see on the minimap somebody has locked up there is a king crab up in this area as well. So these units are... Hopefully, fingers crossed, unsupported, so they might be prime targets for us. So we're going to push into p position and see if we can engage them. Now, as we do this, hopefully between the last drop and this drop, we have demonstrated that the Zeus actually is New quite tanky acquired. and able to take care of itself, dispelling back, some of the you. myths that linger about this chassis. And I say, let your enemies underestimate your mech if you choose to field a Zeus. Coming up to the top of the ramp, we find that there is a Mad Cat Mark II. I was expecting the King Crab, but we'll take the Mad Cat as well. We're going to engage him because I don't want him raining shots down on my friendly units. And we're going to use this slim piece of cover for all it's worth. And if you see in the background, the light unit was hiding up in the next to the building, waiting for the back shot on me. So my spidey sense was 100% correct. I'm going to grab a little cover while I reassess the battlefield. I do know there is a unit up on top of the building at Echo 4, and he needs to go. I don't know where the rest of the enemy is, but I need to drive him off so that he can stop shooting us and stop marking our location for the rest of his teammates. So he managed a couple of good shots, but i got to swing out to the right side and try to get the angle since he's up on higher elevation. So I'm dropping down and pushing around to see if we can't persuade him to relocate. We don't want him back here. And I start taking fire because the enemy is starting to push back up into Echo 4. So I quickly throw up a UAV. This is so important, guys. Get battlefield information to your teammates so now they can see where the enemy is and what we're dealing with. So I'm trying to get as many shots off on the King Crab as I can, but unfortunately, the Hellfire is pushing me and I'm getting focused by the enemy team, and down I go. Jumping over to the end screen, we do finish this one out with two kills, 686 damage done, 696 damage tanked.